Welcome to this short video on dashboards and charts in Oracle Apex. So I'm going to start by showing you the capabilities within the Create Application Wizard. So the first page I'm going to add is a dashboard page. You'll see there's four different charts. I want a bar chart. Let's go off and select our table. And I have a view here that I want to utilize. And I'm going to do the project. And then I'm going to do the column value for budget versus cost. So I'll just give this a label. And if I choose to, I can create additional charts in here. But for now, I'm just going to create that one chart. Now what I'm going to do is show you how easily I can add chart page into this wizard as well. Just call this chart. Again, I can select a table or view. This time I will select just a task. So I want my task name. And then I want to do uh, the cost. So I'm going to call this, in fact, I should call this task cost. And I'm going to add that page and I can continue adding pages. This stage, I'm just going to create the application. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it. So just log in. And if we look at the dashboard, here's our project budget versus costs. And over here, we've got some sample charts. So let's go and have a look under the covers. And here's the first series here. You'll see that it's actually done a select statement for me. If we have a look at the second ones, it's actually just selecting some data from Jewel. But we can readily change these if we want to. For example, I just want a table or view. And again, I'm going to select my view this time and then I can select down here which label I want so I want my projects and then I want my budget so I'll give this one a better name I'll call this one project budgets and let's run this now so now this is showing me my project budgets which is great and let's just have a quick look at the charts we created. And this one we created as an area chart. Very easy to change. We'll just go in, change the attributes here from an area to a bar chart. And then we're all good. So if we want to go and create a new page, that's very easy as well. I'm just going to go and create a new page here. And if I select dashboard, I'm going to call this one create page dashboard then you'll see that it gives you a number of options as to the sort of layout that you want so for example we might want one like this or this and then all you do is once you've created the page very similar to what I did before you go in you can tweak the series and rename the columns and off you go I also have the sample charts application installed so let me just go across to that and you can see in here all the various types of charts that we can define. So, for example, this one here, if we actually select one of these, it removes it. We can also unstack the values. There's various different types of curves, depth, and so forth. There's lots of different bar charts that you can do and using different color schemes, different sorts of stacking and what have you. We even have stock charts, bubble charts, uh, combination charts here where it's showing multiples at once we've also got different sorts of things you can include for example these sort of bubbles here uh, you know, and different regions that you might want to have in your dashboard various types of pie charts if i click on one of these it's expanding it out etc we can do Gantt charts, line charts, and so forth. We can also do status meter gauges, which are often very popular within applications. And all of these components can very easily be added to your applications with very little code. Thank you very much.